All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Yoel Romero. All right, so here he is, the soldier of God, Olympic silver medalist, Yoel Romero. It's amazing to think he hasn't had a UFC belt around his waist. Most people think, or I should say, some people think he did enough to beat Robert Whittaker back in the day, but this is still one of the best middleweights on planet. He's one of the most naturally talented guys that I've ever met. From the moment I met him back in the wrestling days, way back around 2001, you understood that you were looking at something special in Yoel Romero, and although he started his career very late, I knew that he would get to this point. Now that he has developed that quick knockout ability, couple that with his wrestling, and you have one of the perennial middleweight top contenders. Hard to find a lot of glaring weaknesses when you study the film on Yoel Romero. Some might knock the cardio, but seems to get his breathers in there in a 25-minute fight. And you've heard past opponents like Luke Rocco, Robert Whitaker talk about literally kicking stone. a man of steel. He's stone. Yoel Romero, folks, here he is. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated, 27-0. And history is certainly gonna look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here today. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Khabib, there has been no hiccup no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo in the ground control, in the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Yoel, Soldier of God, Romero! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? Well, huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. 
Oh, strong uppercut for him there. That'll get his attention. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody wants to. Just missed with the left there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Strong straight left there. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on note. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? 27 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Yoel Romero. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh! Nice point, sir. Got a single collar tie. Uppercut there blocked by Romero. Nurmago Medov gets in the clinch again. This has historically been a good position for him. Let's see how he attacks here. Just misses with a left hook there. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. And he landed the right hand there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Good stick. Oh, big left hook there. Beautiful knee. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, no wasted motion there. Romero loads up on the right hand and finds the toe. I mean, you watch this. He's knocked out some of the greatest middleweights of all time. Luke Rocco, Chris Weidman. He's put guys to sleep in a variety of ways. And tonight, he does it again. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Under a minute now to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Ooh, what a punch. Just a slip there. It with the straight, beautifully placed there by Nurmago Meadow. Oh, collar tie. Massive knee to the body lane. And they separate. It's such a fast leg kick. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Straight punch land. Wow. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. There's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it 
but by getting hit over and over in the face. Romero's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand plus the clinch. The soldier of God gets the tie clinch here. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising. Wow, actually got the takedown. Nurmagomedov gets back up, back into his comfort zone. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Romero. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Good punch. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. And he caught the kick, we'll see what he can do with it. 83 total strikes and counting have already found the ball through Joel Romero. While the number's not all that efficient, 43%, the accuracy rate against him. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Let's go! Get him, get him. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Just over two minutes now to go. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent. Better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Romero's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice loop and punch. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Tags him with the left. Oh, nice. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful strike. What a body kick. Just out of range with that right hook. And they separate. And that's the end of round number two.
now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, the action continues here and now as our Ready next fight. round gets Ready. underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh, big punch man. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Nermago Meta. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Excellent land by him there with the uppercut. If he had changed the angle, that could have been a knockdown. I mean, he threw every part of himself into that strike. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Well, keep that finger on the punch counter button. 113 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. While well, misses on 60% of the strikes, landing with just 40% accuracy against Yoel Romero. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Nermago Meta. Lands with the ground and pound here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meta. Some big punches raining down here, picking the spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he? He's having so much success doing it in fighting in this exact same manner that's leading him to be ahead in the fight right now. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nurmago Medov. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Two minutes remain in the round. with the ground and pound. A series of punches from the top here by Nermago Meta. Oh, the ground and pound is there. These are some big punches here from the top DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a real good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing on top of your opponent like that. You gotta watch the up kicks. Notice how he leads with his hips when he goes to land strikes. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Medov. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meadow. 
these are some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching pretty up. He's making his punches count. Wow. Wow. Herb Dean steps in. He's done. He's done. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight. Just before the end of that round, a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight. Referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight. That is a crazy, crazy knockout just at the end of the round. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 44 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib the Eagle, Chicago Bella. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.